Hi everybody, welcome to another video with me here, Peter Driver and Piscari Fly. So today we were out on the river and fishing some flooded water. Um, put up a few posts on social media, a lot of people were wondering what we were catching fish on and stuff. So I said I'll sit down and tie the fly and show you a video and a bit of a, give a bit of a chat there of, you know, what works best in flooded water. Um, as you can see the river today, that's quite some fish um so <clears throat> right to the river today was that 50 50 question god damn do i go home or do i stay and give it a go so i said i'll give it a go for an hour and lo and behold we, we had a fantastic session on the river and um, the nymph that was took most of the fish is a very simple nymph it's not very complicated it's a nymph i use quite a lot now when you turn up the rivers like that you have a couple of options you can go streamers you can go squirmy worms you know there is options there to um to, to watch you can catch some fish on for me though this nymph has always proved to be very effective um for catching fish in flooded water and i'm going to share which is here now quite a simple nymph it's based on the grayling slayer basically um <clears throat> green which is, is is a kind of a, a, a not a copy but very close to a grayling a grayling slayer great fly for grayling but also catch a lot of fish okay so in device here i have a the haku g cook this one is a size 14 and on that there i have a pascari fly 3.5 mil copper tungsten d just secure up in place with a little bit of zapica okay i always like secure my bees in place um so to start we're going to use some of our kevlar it's a pascari fly kevlar and we're going to add that in just there behind the bead and secure on now you know the, the river wasn't that high today um so even fishing 3.5 mil beads you are going to run the risk and plus because you don't have clarity you do run the risk of a lot of snags, losing a lot of nymphs. You just got to try your best and judge the, the current of the water. You'll see disturbances in the current, which might indicate there's a rock there or there's a weed bed just under the surface that you can't see. And try and get those nymphs to travel down between those obstacles. That's where the, the trout will be sitting um, down on the bottom and, um, you know, trotting a good weighted nymph down into those channels. You'll, you'll give yourself every chance. Now, for the body of the dubbing of this, we have a mixture of three three different components. Okay, we got hair's ear dubbing. We got some um, Spectre Dubbin number 45, okay, which is kind of a, a blackish kind of peacock dubbin, okay, and then we're going to add in some black deer hair, okay. So I'm just going to mix the three of these up here now, just between the finger and thumb, pinch and pull. Start with a little bit of deer hair and a little bit of the, the black. Um, normally it's kind of sort of two thirds deer hair or hair's ear and then uh, kind of divide the rest in half by the other, the other third and half by the, the other two materials till you get a nice dark okay i find dark nymphs really really work best in flooded milky water okay now i know also i've used in the past i have used a little bit more a little bit more of um, that spectrum that <clears throat> i have used kind of you know orange beads and it can be okay but i find darker nymphs same with streamers. If you're going with streamers in a flooded river, go with black because they'll see that silhouette a hell of a lot better than they will um, bright colours in coloured water. Okay. And this one's been working for me for a number of years now. It's always my go-to nymph when I go to a, a piece of coloured river. So once I've got that kind of really nicely mixed up, I make sure I'm dark enough. A little pinch of the <clears throat> not a little pinch of the black but i just want a little bit darker than that and again just tease now now if i was mixing out a larger bag of this and have a larger bag there but it you know you can mix up quite a large amount of this and put it away into, into a bag and have it then or for yourself several minutes just for the purpose of this video i'm just showing you kind of the mix that i'm using and that's about pretty good there Happy enough for that. Nice dark, spiky hairs here with a bit of deer hair. Okay, real caddisy looking. Very good for making caddis bodies on nymphs as well. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, in order to tie this trade. Now, you can put in a pearl rib if you want into this. Um, I don't really think it's successful in a fly if I put in a tail. You can put in a hotspot tail if you want or a tag. But for me, it's this is the simple tying note, okay? I'm going to split this Kevlar. So just make sure it's untwisted with the back of my needle. 
And I'm just going to split that there now and we're going to put in some dub in there. Okay, so I'm not using a rib. Sometimes I have, say, I have tied it um, for trout and grayly with uh, a pearl rib. It can be quite nice in it. A nice, fine pearl rib. But for the fly that worked best today, didn't have any rib. Oh. So once I got my dubbing into my dumb brush, or into my, in between my tread, I start spinning the tread bobbin. So I'm holding it with my left hand, the tread with my left hand. I'm spinning the tread bobbin just below the camera. And then when I release, it starts to spin, okay? And I just do that because if you're trying, sometimes if you try and spin the dubbing without holding, taking attention with your left hand, um, you can shake loose and fall on the dubbing tree to get a chance to slide the fly. So you can spin it up quite nicely. This helps to really create that real spiky, buggy look for an nymph, as you can see. There's our dubbing brush there now, okay? And let's just start winding that on, bringing my tread down to the back end of the hook and wind it on. Now this is a scraggy looking nymph and it's exactly the way we want it. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Take away any, any excess dubbing that you don't need. And make sure it's well secured there. Okay, with a dumb brush. You're gonna brush that out a bit. And I'll always catch the longer hairs and give them a bit of a break away. Quite a soft nymph, it'll penetrate quite well and it'll uh, look sublime, sublime once it's in the water. It really is, it's a fantastic nymph. Quite simple like that. <clears throat> Lovely spiky dubbing, as you can see. Lovely spiky body, but no great bulk to it, even though it's quite a it has quite a bit of expanse on it, but there's no because of the way we dubbed it, if you dub it on like normal, wrap it onto your tread like normal, it become very bulky in the body and um it won't be as effective. Okay, for the collar, it's very simple here. It is Hen Spectra 04. Hen Spectra 04 dubbing. Okay. And again, I'm going to mix a little bit of that. Take a pinch of that out. A nice little bit of flash in that. And we're going to mix it with a bit of uh, Pascari Fly Hotspot dubbing. Okay. So that's Hotspot dubbing Fire Orange. And I'm going to take out a pinch of that. This is great dubbing. It just, it just adds an extra little bit of orange. But it also, um, it's a fine dubbing. It helps that Spectra really kind of stick to the trade as such um going again just mix that up with a small piece of the fire orange into that spectra really sets it off lovely so i have another video coming out later today or if you're watching this down the road a bit um there is another video there of me actually fishing this nymph on the river today i'm going to make that video shortly um i get the footage down off the gopro and stuff and you'll see me actually fishing this nymph on that particular stream that I showed you. So do make sure you keep an eye on the YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We have lots of stuff coming over the next couple of months. Um, and of course our live shows will be starting back in October. Looking forward to getting back into those. Got lots of great fly tying. Special guests coming along the way. We'll finish it off. Just add a, you know, a little bit up ahead. We'll finish it off. Remove your tread. And now this time I'll just brush out a bit of that arch. Just put brushing out over the bee first to really tease it out. And then again just back over the body. Remove any unwanted long bits of dubbing. And there we have it folks. Very simple. Super, super effective nymph in flooded river. Um, definitely my go-to nymph uh, when I'm fishing dirt and muckley water. And that uh, proved to be a real treat today. Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you've enjoyed tying it, enjoyed fishing it even more. Thanks a million for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're ever looking for any fly tying or fly fishing gear, do check out prescarifly.com or give us a shout here and we'd love to have a chat. See you all real soon.